Hey everyone, Phantom Walker here, and today I'm going to show you how to map a Korg Nano Control to Actual Solutions Power Mixer. This will allow you to control the audio settings of individual applications in Windows with hardware. I'm using a first generation Korg Nano Control and Power Mixer version 3.7, which you can try free for thir or 14 days from their website. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do if you haven't done it already is to download and install the USB drivers as well as the Korg Control Editor and Power Mixer. I'll be linking to where to get those items in the video description below. Once you've installed everything, launch the Control Editor and Power Mixer. The Control Editor will ask you to pick the controller from the list of available devices. Once you've done that, switch over to Power Mixer and open the Options dialog. Select the Mixer options, and then where it says Remote Control, check the box to enable MIDI control. Click the Configure button to open the MIDI Commands Editor. In this dialog, you can create commands that control the volume, balance, or other audio properties of your programs. To get started, we'll want to create a command. If you don't already have an empty command available, click New, and then give it a name. I'm going to name this one System Volume. In the Action drop-down, we'll be keeping the default action of Adjust Volume. There are several other options in this drop-down that you can pick, but we'll be focusing on volume adjustments only in this tutorial. Next, you'll want to pick the device or program that you'd like to control. I'm going to pick the Playback Control under my default device and hit OK. The device, function, and channel defaults should all be fine for this tutorial. Feel free to mess around with those on your own and see if they do anything neat for you. The critical item, that, however, that we're going to want to set in this whole dialog is the second byte. The second byte field lets us map Power Mixer to a CC number or note number from the Korg Control Editor. We'll be changing this value from the any value over in the MIDI control um, to the appropriate number for either a slider or a knob. I prefer to use the sliders for my setup, however you're welcome to do whatever makes you comfortable. Uh, to choose the slider on the first bank, you see in the control editor that it has a CC number of 2. In the second byte drop-down, the number at the beginning of the field is the CC number. I'm going to pick 2, breath control, and leave the control on equals, which means that the volume will be equal to the position of the first bank slider. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Press OK on this dialog to save the command into the program. OK again to return to Power Mixer. Now if we test this out, you can see by sliding the first slider up and down that the volume is going up and down in Power Mixer as well as in Windows. If you would like to add more programs, just repeat those steps and add more MIDI commands in the Options dialog. All in all, pretty easy and pretty fun to use. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you for now. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. If it has, leave me a comment. If you have a question, leave me a comment, and uh, I'll try to answer it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.